Hello everyone, this is Adam Shoemaker, Rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. And I am here on this Wednesday afternoon to pray with you using Psalm number 38 as we continue to journey through the Psalms. And Psalm number 38 is a Psalm of Petition. So I hear now these words from the 38th Psalm. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me like a heavy burden. They are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction, my neighbors stand far off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me, those who strive to hurt me, speak of my ruin, and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense, those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Psalm number 38, a psalm of petition that cries out to God in a time of great distress, a time perhaps not unlike the time in which we are journeying through, a time of distress, a time of darkness, a time of sorrow in many respects as we mourn the loss now of over 200,000 Americans who have died from the coronavirus. A time when many might feel as though we are cursed, and yet the words of the psalmist today encourage us to continue to put our trust in God, to continue to trust that God will deliver us to, con to remain fixed upon the Lord, to fix our hope upon our God. Deacon Greg will be back with you tomorrow to pray with you using Psalm number 39. In the meantime, be safe, be well, wear your mask, and you continue to keep the faith.